I'm Rob Vollman, a volunteer with the Lake Hills Fire Safe Council in El Dorado Hills, California. In this video, we'll provide educational information that may help you assess your home's wildfire risk related to the design of your home's ventilation. When older homes were built, there was little thought given to design, products, or building techniques that would increase the home's chances of surviving a wildfire. However, Knowledge about how homes begin to burn during a wildfire has increased a great deal, and in 2008, California building codes were updated to make new homes more resistant to wildfire. Today, there are actions we can take with our existing homes to harden them against wildfire, utilizing some of the most important features now built into new homes. For older homes, a wildfire vulnerability can be the vents that allow fresh air into the home structure like this one here. Our homes contain many vents, including our windows, but the vents we're concerned about for fire are those that let air into the attic and under the home. Let's take a look at a few of these. If your home is not constructed on a concrete slab, you may have crawl space or foundation vents located close to the ground. These allow air to enter the space under your home. If you have attic space above your interior ceiling, then you might have eave vents. These are located in the part of the roof that overhangs the exterior wall. These vents are designed to let air into your attic. Another vent related to attic space is a gable vent. These are usually located on an exterior wall at the high point and often feature large louvers. These vents are designed to let hot air escape from your attic. Finally, some homes have roof vents. These come in many shapes and sizes and may include ridge vents, off ridge vents, and turbine vents. Much like the gable vent, these are designed to let hot air flow out of your attic space. Here's an exercise for you. Walk the outside of your home and see how many of these vents you can find. You might find three or four, or you might find a dozen or more. Take a photo of each and note its design. So, what is the potential problem with these older style vents? Well, most of these vents use some type of screen or louver, originally designed to keep out pests, large debris, or in the case of louvers, to keep out rain. These older vent covers were not designed to keep out burning embers from a wind-driven wildfire. Take a look at this gable vent, which uses louvers to keep out the rain, but has no screen. You can see the wind-driven embers easily entering into the attic space. It is evident that this vent was never designed to keep out burning embers. Many older vents you find on your home might use what they call quarter-inch screen, meaning each opening is one quarter of an inch. This screen was made primarily to keep out pests. These screens can also be a problem in a wildfire. As you can see here, embers are easily penetrating this quarter inch screen and some are landing still burning. Embers like this can result in a home burning from the inside out. Today, new homes are required to have screens with no larger than a 1 8 inch opening. While this might sound like a small difference, tests have shown that the tighter woven screen adds more protection from embers. This video shows a similar eave to what we just saw but this one uses 1 8 inch screen. As you can see, far fewer embers enter the attic space, and studies show that embers that penetrate a 1 8 inch screen often extinguish before they land. Again, here's the quarter inch screen, and here's the 1 8 inch screen. The difference is clear. So, what can you do to harden your vents and make them more resistant to wildfire? Well, in some cases, this might be a job better suited for a licensed contractor. But in other cases, you might be able to make improvements yourself. This home was built in 1977 and included these quarter-inch vents, which were standard at the time. We're going to remove the old quarter-inch screens from this house and replace it with these brand new 1 8 inch metal screens. We'll pry off this old one and try not to damage the wood siding. I've gone ahead and primed and painted the frame of our new vent cover to match the color of the house. Now let's get it installed. We 
While this new screen offers no guarantee during a wildfire, studies have shown this new tighter woven metal screen should outperform the old quarter inch screen in terms of resisting the penetration of burning embers. That was a pretty easy vent cover to replace. You might find in your situation that you're not wanting to remove the existing quarter inch screen. One solution is to buy a bulk roll of eighth inch metal screen and add this in addition to your existing quarter inch screen. You may be able to figure a way to fasten this screen material around your existing vent. In this case, I'm using stainless steel staples to fasten this to the inside of the vent. The result will be a vent that has a quarter inch screen on the outside and an eighth inch screen on the inside. That should make it less likely for embers to get through. In addition to retrofitting your vents with tighter woven metal screens, there are also now new ventilation products coming to market that are designed specifically to keep out embers. These use a variety of designs to allow air to pass, but not embers. In addition to hardening your vents, there are actions you can take related to your vents to help keep your home fire safe during a wildfire. For one, if your vents are easy to reach, figure out a way to quickly close off some or all of your vents when needed ensuring that no embers get through. Also, look at the area inside your structure near your vents. Make sure there are no highly flammable items exposed to your vents. If embers get in, you want them to extinguish on their own. The purpose of this video is not to tell you that you need to perform any specific changes to your home. Rather, we hope this video creates initial awareness of your home's vents and the possible vulnerabilities they might create during a wildfire. I encourage you to investigate your own home situation and take actions as you see fit. Thank you so much for watching. You can learn more about protecting your home from wildfire at www.edcfiresafe.org slash lakehills.